Greetings to all the members of Valley Kingdom Ministries. All the people of Trinidad and Tobago and the world as a whole. God bless you all. God keep us all in this time. And to all those who are listening, God bless you all. Before I actually get this is this is Elder Mona Rollins. But before and before I go into praying, I want to just pray for Israel. And I'm going to pray a prayer of victory. Rise up, O Hashem. May the enemies of your people be scattered. May the foes of Israel flee before you. Mighty one of Israel, give Israel aid against their enemies. Through you they will gain the victory and you shall trample down their enemies. O Hashem, strong and mighty, may Israel not trust in bow or in the sword. But may they trust in you to give them victory over their enemies. O Hashem, put their adversaries to shame. Mighty one of Israel, push back the enemies of your people through the power of your name. May they trample their foes. Ancient of days, you are my king and my Elohim, who decrees victory for Jacob. Redeemer of Israel, shatter the yoke that burden your people and the rod of their oppressors. Almighty Elohim, may Jerusalem be called the throne of Hashem. May all nations gather in Jerusalem to honor the name of Hashem. Mighty one of Israel, may the remnant of Jacob be lifted up in triumph over his enemies. May all the foes of Israel be destroyed. In Jesus' name, amen. And that's a prayer for Israel. And now, I just want, before I pray, I want to encourage, I want to encourage, encourage us with the word of God, encourage us with the admonition of Jesus. And I want to bring it up to today especially in this time where we are faced with trouble all around the world you know people are afraid and looking for answers but jesus in his word encourages us or admonishes us that in times these times we need to we need to be vigilant we need to be awake. This is no time to sleep. And so, in Matthew chapter 26, verse 41, Jesus admonishes his slumbering disciples in the garden of Gethsemane. And as it was then, it is today, we all fall asleep he knows that we will fall asleep we are tempted to sleep and so he's saying to us as he said to his disciples keep watching and praying that you may not enter into temptation people it is very easy in this time for us to enter into temptation he said the spirit is willing but the flesh is weak in similar words it is recorded in Mark chapter 14, 38. Paul's counsel is, he says, continue in prayer. And I am encouraging us, the people of God, continue in prayer and watch in the same with thanksgiving. Luke 21, 36 admonishes us. Watch ye therefore, people of God, saints of God, 
pray always and if there is a time we need to pray if there is a time we need to intensify if there is a time we need to remain prostrate before God it is now he says that ye may be accounted worthy to escape there is another version I think it's the new American standard Bible it says it's this way keep on the alert keep watching keep awake keep vigilant at all times more so than ever praying that you may have strength to escape all these things that are about to take place and i would add all those things that are happening right now so i encourage us with these words today it's not about how you feel it is about what jesus said in his word it is about what he admonishes us to do i know we are in a place we are at home and the temptation is that we could sleep all day i am not saying that you can't rest but i am saying to the people of god if there is a time that we need to pray it is now pray and watch or watch and pray pray and watch watch and pray be alert be vigilant the jesus says no man knows the hour the word of god says so he says not even the angels not jesus only god himself knows we don't know we don't know what's next so keep watching keep praying in season and out of season if you feel like it pray you don't feel like it, still pray still pray i am I'm encouraging us because it is very easy for us to slip into that relaxed mode and and that's a door that we will be opening for the enemy to come in so i pray that god would strengthen us in these times god would keep us our minds stayed on him we are going to get into his word read 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 be edified eat the word of god it is the bread of life i encourage us people those who are hearing me today i am encouraging you as i am encouraging myself wake up early the holy spirit is going to wake you up spend that time on your knees you may not know what to say but keep listening god is going to speak to you and let us be obedient let us be obedient and so today i want to thank god i want to thank god for who he is i want to thank god for who he is and psalm 46 one tells us <laughs> that god is god is the bible said that whoever will come to god must must believe that he is that he exists and that he is he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him it also says that god is our refuge he is presently and continually he is our refuge people so when fear would come to your door knocking i want us to know that god is our refuge he is our protection he is a shelter and in order to be sheltered you must come beneath so he is in coming alignment right now i am your protection i am your protection against covid 19 i am your i'm going to shelter you i am your strength when weakness would come when our hearts would tend to fail or become fearful he said i am your strength i am powerful people god is 
powerful. He is mighty, mighty to save. He is strong to deliver. Hallelujah. In this time, he is delivering. We need to put our trust in our God. He is not a weak, feeble God. Be encouraged. He is a strong God. He is able to deliver. He will deliver us. He will see us through this time. Hallelujah. Thank God for who he is. He is still on the throne. Let me remind you. He is still on the throne. He is still the most high God. He is the almighty, not just mighty, almighty God. Let this resound through your spirit today. He is the almighty God. He is unmovable. Think about that. What could shake God? What could shift God from his position? He is unmovable. We are easily moved by circumstances in life, by the challenges. We are easily moved. But when it comes to God, the almighty God, unmovable people, unshakable. We are easily shaken by situations and circumstances. And for example, right now, this, this enemy that has spread itself throughout the earth, people have become, we are, we, 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 we are shaken in our boots. But when it comes to the almighty God, he is unshakable. He is not moved by what is happening. He doesn't think this is something, a strange phenomenon. No, God is unshakable. And that is our God. He is the supreme God. He is the highest authority. God is the greatest. Our prime minister would usually say, great is the PNM. Great is the PNM. But I want you to know today, great is our God. Great is our God. He is the greatest. There is no one else like him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There is no one else like him. We sing a song. We can search the whole world and find there is none like him. Oh, she Baba Ikorobosaya. Jesus. Hallelujah. The same yesterday. <laughs> when there was no COVID. <laughs> Today, he's the same when there is COVID. And he would remain the same. Hallelujah. Let's keep our eyes upon him. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's the author and finisher of our faith. God is a supreme God. He is supreme over the nations of the earth. <laughs> he is supreme over the earth. This is the God we are talking about today. This is the God whom I put my trust in. He said, I am God. He said, I am God. And there is no one else like me. I do as I please. Let all the earth bow down before me. And people, if there's a time we need to bow, is now. <laughs> Acknowledge that I am your God. Without him, we are nothing. We can do nothing. Let us acknowledge he's the God that we must worship in spirit and in truth. Father, I give you praise today. Because no other help I know. And Father, if you would remove yourself from me, I don't know where I would go. Because without you, I am nothing. Without you, I could do nothing. And God is the same for all of us. So we look to you from whence cometh our help. Our help comes from you, O oh God, who made the heavens, who made the earth. 
and we thank you that you are our God and our Father and that you we can call upon your name in this time. Today I pray earnestly for righteousness to come to our nation, our homes, our communities, hallelujah, and the world as a whole. For Father, there is great fear and there is panic and anxiety and added to that much grief. People, Lord, hearts are failing all around us because it seems as though there is no hope. But the word of God said, hope thou in God. Hallelujah. Many have become weak because they have lost loved ones. They have lost two or three members of their family right before their eyes. And so, Father, a sense of hopelessness have gripped many today. And I pray, Lord, for strength in this hour. I pray that there would be a cry on the earth. I pray that men would look up to you, God. They would extend their hand up to the heavens and cry out to you for help. Your word said, our help comes from you alone. And we need your help in this hour, God. So I pray that you would strengthen the weak in this hour. Bring hope to the hopeless, oh God. <laughs> you said those that have no might, you would give strength, God. Yes, Lord, you would strengthen, Father. Father, I pray today that disobedience or failure to conform to the plans and the will of God will cease. Father, in, in Psalm 46, one of the verses, you said, desist. Stop doing what you're doing. Desist. Stop lying. Stop walking in disobedience. Stop bowing down to idols. Stop doing what you're doing that is displeasing in the sight of God. Desist. Cease. Stop it. <laughs> Learn that I am God. Learn that I am God. And learn that I am God. Hallelujah. Father, forgive us. <laughs> forgive us in this hour. For we have turned our back upon you. We have gone our own way. We have become stubborn and stiff-necked, rebellious, walking in disobedience, dishonoring and disrespecting authority. And Lord, when we do this thing, we do it unto you. Unforgiving in our hearts, God. <laughs> Holding grudges. But you're speaking today and you're also at the same time giving us a chance to change our ways. For you said repent and turn from your wicked ways. And Father God today as the people of God I pray Lord that we will oh, hold dearly in our hearts the, the, the scripture that comes from Second Chronicles. Lord, I think it's 714 where you're, you're speaking to your people. He said if, if my people... And I pray, Lord, today that we will be so reminded by the Holy Spirit, my, that we are His people and that we will be willing and obedient, God, to, 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 to do the four things that you are asking of us, God. You said, if my people are called by my name, shall, Lord, we shall humble, hallelujah, we full of pride, Father. Hmm. And Lord, you're asking us to humble ourselves. Lord, you're saying to us, be, 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 be a people that are meek. Hallelujah. Humble ourselves. Jesus humbled himself even unto death. And God, you want us to do the same thing. Humble ourselves. For he that humbleth himself will be exalted. And so today, Father, I pray that God... We will ponder on this word, humility, God. Help us to humble ourselves. Father God, humility, humility, humble, humble ourselves in this hour and pray. 
You're calling us, God, to revisit, God, that place of fervent intercession, intense intercession. <laughs> God, seeking your face in prayer, wanting to hear what you have to say in prayer on our knees, crying out before you, Lord. For you, Lord, you said, if we seek you, we will find you when we search for you on our knees. I am saying today, and we search for you, God, we will find you. Hallelujah. So God, in prayer, we will intensify. Oh God, in prayer, Lord, we would cry out to you, Lord. We would seek your face. Yeah, Lord, we will draw nigh to you. Hallelujah. And Lord our God, we're going to turn from our wicked ways. Turn from our wicked ways. Turn from our wicked ways. Hallelujah. Lord God, today you're waiting on us. And if we, oh God, purpose in our hearts to obey God, what you're asking of us, you said, God, <laughs> you will hear from heaven. You will hear us, Lord. And you will heal our land. Lord, and I pray, God, that we, oh God, would give ourselves to this, Father God. For you call us your people. You said, my people. And I want to thank you today, God, that we will be an obedient people. Lord, to, to, to fulfill this requirement. That is which ask of us today in the name of Jesus. Today, Lord, I pray, God, that the righteousness of God will come to the nations of the world and to our homes throughout the world. Hmm. Father, I pray and I praise you because from everlasting to everlasting, the Lord's love is with those who fear him and his righteousness with the children's children. I pray that men will ask, what can I do to be saved? I pray that men would reach a place where they would cry out, what shall I do to be saved? Because there is an answer. Repent and turn from your wicked ways. Hallelujah. Lord, I pray those who are hearing my voice today. Hallelujah. Who, God, are afraid. Those who don't know what to do in this time will ask what to do. Hallelujah. And, Father, they will come to know what they ought to do. There is hope. There is a way. And there is an answer. Father, I pray that you would strengthen Hallelujah. Your servants in this hour, the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers. Hallelujah. That God, you're going to keep them. God, I pray, Lord, they are going to cry out to you. Lord, they would continue doing what you have called them to do. So strengthen their stand in you today. I pray, God, that an intense praise would rise from within them today, oh God. So, Lord, I pray that you would cover them with your blood. Cover their homes and their families with the blood of Jesus. And, God, I pray that you would remind us, God, that when Israel was about to exit us, Father God, you said to Moses, Ah, tell the people, God, and they followed the instructions that were given. They killed the lamb. They caught the blood in the bowl. Father, or in the, in the basin, they dipped that hyssop in the blood and they placed it upon the doorposts and the lentils. Father God, and these are the homes that were saved from the judgment that was about to come. Father, and I pray today that we, God, will apply the blood of Jesus Christ over our hearts, over our homes. Hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. So that we can be safe. Today, Lord, I bless your name. 
I magnify your name. I exalt your name, God. I pray that there would be a praise, oh God, rising up on the earth today. A praise that would come before you. A praise that would, uh, a praise that would change. Hallelujah. What is presently taking place? I praise God that would defeat the enemy's plant. I praise God that would come out from the mouth of your people on the earth today. You said, if my name be lifted up, I will draw men, all men unto me. And oh God, today, I pray that our praise would rise out of the mouth of your people, Lord hallelujah today may your name be glorified in the earth today may your name be exalted in the earth today father i just want to thank you holy spirit i praise you holy spirit you're still empowering holy spirit you're still ministering oh god today oh god today have your way touch your people touch your people as only you can in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah, our resurrected Lord and our soon coming King. Father, I just want to thank you for this privilege, oh God, this awesome privilege to lift up your name in the earth today. And so God, I just want to bless you, bless your name, bless your name, bless your name. I pray this prayer in Jesus' name, amen.